Soper Stocks coming out on the water first by boat at number 31. That's Jeff Gibson. He was running like a rocket yesterday. Attention in the pits, Aaron Stevens. Aaron Stevens, please report to the start finish line. Aaron Stevens to the start finish line. Was kind of hoping to see a white boat come down from up above. That would have been boat number 96 of Charlie Marquardt. Charlie didn't get to run yesterday. Spoke to him last night. He said he hoped to make an appearance here. He had an engine issue and does not look like the big six foot seven Charlie Marquardt is going to make it here. Too bad. Tough break. I know he wants to get out here and race. But that doesn't mean we don't have good quality out on the water. Well, the things you learn when you hold a microphone next to the official tower. Charlie Marquardt is out on the race course, but he's not driving boat number 96. He is driving boat number 100. So Charlie's out there. We'll pick up the number on the boat when they come by. I got my spotters here helping me. Let me see how many spotters do I have here. I have one, two, three. I got four spotters here. They'll help us pick numbers out of the sun. So we don't have boat 96, but we got boat number 100 with Charlie Marquardt. We've got Brandon Cushing out of Kennewick. He's driving boat number 396, Jeff Gibson. That's that yellow one with a canopy coming across start finish line right now. That's Jeff Gibson out of Kent. Boat number 79 driven by Mark Halverson out of Olympia and Eric Jones from Tenasket. He will drive boat number 81. One minute and 45 seconds until our start. These guys are going to come cruising down here. They cannot cross the start finish line before a minute and 15 seconds. So these guys are coming down here. You're going to see them cut the course, I would assume, or shut down. Going to have to do one or the other. And that's a legal maneuver that is being done there from the front up to the back stretch. You cannot come from the back stretch to the front stretch between the exit pin and the start finish line from back to front, but you can go from front to back. Having said that, as we are 12, 11, 10, we're inside a minute 15. That was boat number 81, Eric Jones. Interesting score up there. Brandon Cushing coming across. There was an interesting score up there. We were talking about not being able to cut the course from back to front between the exit pin and the start finish line. That's for the officials to call. I will not worry about it. Not to worry. Jeff Gibson, boat number 31. He is in lane number one, or so it appears. Brandon Cushing out of Kennewick. He is up there in the mix, as is Eric Jones driving boat number 81. He is in lane number two. He, Eric Jones. 15 seconds till the start. Keep an eye on Gibson. I've never saw Gibson's boat run as good as it did yesterday. He is the boat in lane one. It is yellow. It is boat number 31. It's driven by Jeff Gibson. Two, one, mark, and we are racing. Green flag. I believe that is Charlie Marquardt on the outside. Jeff Gibson running very, very hard once again off the exit pin. The boat in second place, I believe, is Charlie Marquardt. I believe that is boat 100, and I'm basing about 20% of that on the fact of how tall the driver appears in the cockpit, but he's going down. He is going down, and boat number 81, Eric Jones, on the inside is going to go by him. So Jones, if that is Marquardt up the backstretch, he has now gone from second to third place. And Eric Jones out of Tenasket is in second. Meanwhile, it is all Jeff Gibson. If there's any questions about the racing on the water or the score up, Jeff Gibson is having none of it. His boat is just running like a rocket. He is already through the lower corner. He's already at the exit pin before our second place boat, driven by Eric Jones, comes by to complete lap number one. Brandon Cushing is in third place. And I believe 
We've either lost Charlie or that is Charlie. No, that's not Charlie headed back to the pit area. Anyway, we've lost Charlie, so we've got three boats still running here. We are on lap number two. Make that starting lap number three. Jeff Gibson. Boy, and he's just getting an outstanding boat ride here. And his boat's just running like a rocket. But as we spoke yesterday, I can assure you, Eric Gibson would much rather have somebody running deck to deck with him out there instead of just running by himself. These guys are competitors. They want to run. They want to run alongside somebody else. And right now, Eric Jones will come down and complete lap number three. Excuse me, check that lap number two. And then it's Brandon Cushing out of Kennewick, driving boat number 396. But that's how long it takes to get around this short course. Eric Gibson just flying in boat number 31. Can't miss that one. He's got a white flag. He is on his last lap. He being Eric Gibson in boat number 31 out of Kent. He's got a chance to run down a couple of these guys and perhaps even lap somebody. Meanwhile, up toward the upper end of the race course on lap number three, it is Eric Jones driving the boat out of Tenasket, Washington. Look at Jeff Gibson against the backdrop over there on the other side of the river. You start to get an appreciation for just how fast he is running. Eric Jones will come down. He will look to his right and see a white flag with one to go. But coming out wide, going to be your winner. It is Jeff Gibson out of Kent, Washington, driving boat number 31, the bright yellow one. That's how long it takes to run four laps in a super stock flat bottom race boat. Jeff is having an outstanding weekend here. But if we talk to Jeff, if he were to make his way down here, I'm sure he'd tell us he'd rather run side by side with somebody. That's what they want to do. Meanwhile, our second and third place boats on the water, which are Eric Jones driving boat number 81. That's the dark one all the way up there in the upper corner. He is in second place in boat number 396, driven by Brandon Cushing out of Kennewick in the Tri-Cities, is our third place boat. Eric Jones will come down as he did yesterday and pick up a solid second place finish. Checkered flag. Eric Jones, got to feel good about that one. And then it is... Had to hold on there for a minute, but Brandon Cushing comes home in third. So your order of finish. Jeff Gibson, followed by Eric Jones, and third place to Brandon Cushing. Black flag flies at start finish for our super stock flat bottom race boats.